All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, it's time to finally reveal my custom detailers, wall-mounted, unbelievable vacuum setup. I'll tell you what, it's a Nadair 700 air watt vacuum system directly piped into my Cox reels, 35 foot vacuum reel. This thing is amazing. Let's take a quick look at it. So the unit I chose for my garage installation is the Nadair 700 air watt, two stage, extremely powerful whole house vacuum. This thing is capable of doing a 10,000 square foot house. Now I don't have a 10,000 square foot house, but you know I want the most power possible. Now I have a whole box of accessories sitting right here and in a future video, I'm gonna put a T on this. We're gonna pipe it in and I'm gonna show you how to do it in the entire house. And I'll tell you what, that's when you're gonna see the full potential of this vacuum. But today, I just piped it in directly and we're going to focus in on the garage portion of this install. But first, I just wanted to take a minute to say, man, that looks amazing, man. I'm super happy with it. The performance is incredible and it was super easy to install. So first, let's talk about the two key things that make up a great vacuum. First, it's suction, which is measured in water lift. The ability of the vacuum to draw water in a tube vertically as high as it possibly can. Now, most vacuums, if they can perform 80 inches of water lift or 100, that's considered really acceptable. You get up to 120, that's considered extremely acceptable. You get up to 141, like the Nadera 700, that's considered crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, where does this come into play? Now, when we're vacuuming the vehicle or inside the house or anywhere, and we're trying to lift heavy objects up into the hose, we've all done it. You're, you're pushing it at something and it's going up in and falling out. That's extremely low suction or water lift. That's unacceptable. I want that thing to be just driving whatever I put this in front of straight into the hose, right into the canister. Water lift alone is not gonna do it. We need a high cubic feet per minute or air moving into the machine. Now, the Nadair 700 air watt also will draw in 140 cubic feet per minute of air movement. When we're vacuuming out a vehicle or a carpet or anywhere inside of our shop, garage, house, it doesn't matter. Uh, without a lot of air movement, you'll be agitating the surface and fine particulate will be flying all around. You might not notice it, but there's just not enough air movement to get it up and out of there. Now at 140 cubic feet per minute, it's going to get it up into the hose, into the machine and get it captured in the canister. And that's what we want. Let's talk about the installation. Now it comes with a mounting bracket for the wall. Now you do have to have something to screw it into. Make sure that you're anchoring this securely into the studs. One thing I never recommend is just having something hanging on the drywall where it's just going to pull down. So I found a good stud location. I put blocking in there and I mounted it. Man, this thing is super sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So once we got that hooked up, I've had this location figured out from day one. So it's no secret that it all fits perfect here. I designed it that way. <laughs> now I did run the rigid vacuum for a while up there and everybody always asked about the suction. I'll tell you what, it was amazing. For an entry level solution, man, I'm telling you, it's a way to get going with the Cox hose reel and a really fancy setup on a budget. So let's talk about how we power the machine. Now it runs off a 110 outlet. It doesn't need a dedicated service, but I'll tell you what, like everything else I've done in my garage, I put a dedicated 20 amp breaker specifically to this machine. And then it comes out of the wall over to the machine, powers it up. Now from the machine, we have a low voltage wire that comes over to the switch. Now you guys have seen the switch before. That's how I turned on and off the rigid and that was a cool system but I disconnected the power and now it just has a low voltage wire running over so I can turn the machine on and off right here that's really cool you want that in a nice convenient location so when you come up to grab your hose bang you turn it on and off no problems now what's really neat about this machine when you turn it on it has a nice slow spool up that nice slow spool up is so that the, the power just doesn't hit the motor at hundred percent right off the bat and then, man, when you're hitting the power straight at the motor like that, you're reducing motor life. Another neat thing, when you turn it off, it runs for about three, four seconds, 
and then slowly spools down. Now during that three to four seconds, anything we were vacuuming up has time to get all the way through all the piping and down into the machine. One thing we don't want is to turn the machine off. We come over here to reel the hose in and all the dirt that's in the hose is just falling out onto the floor. Now we've all been there. We know what that's like. They thought it through and <laughs> that, that's a thing in the past now. That's kind of neat. Let's talk about the piping. Now this is designed to go through the entire house and you guys will see in a future video, I'm gonna put a T on here and run a pipe up and I'm gonna service my entire house with a, with a whole house vacuum. It's got all kinds of really neat accessories and man, that's when this thing, you're gonna see its full potential. But for today, it's just gonna be in the garage. So what I did was I ran a 90 degree fitting up and ran it straight into the Cox hose reel and it went really together really easy and I'll tell you what man <laughs> I can't imagine anything else having more suction than this thing with that small pipe run on it now another unique thing about the machine it has a vent for the exhaust now the exhaust actually blows out of the machine and straight out of the side of the house all right so here's the vent when it's running all the exhaust is coming out and pointing straight down at the ground now let's take a look at the filtration that this machine offers it offers three types of filtration it's got the standard filter It's got a HEPA filter. Now, if I didn't have the vent on the machine, venting all the you know, smells and particulate that gets by the filter out of the house, I would run the HEPA filter. The HEPA filter is known to knock down almost 100% of the particulate because if it was just venting straight into the garage, you gotta think about it. The particulate's gonna go through the uh, hose, down into the machine, and it's, the filter's gonna catch the majority of it, if not all of it, but if anything were to escape past the filter, it would be venting straight back into your garage. Now that goes for particulate, smells, all kinds of stuff. So I highly encourage you to vent it out. And it also comes with a bag, although I don't recommend the bag for our use because everything you're vacuuming in is gonna end up in the bag and uh, you'll just have to throw the bag away. They're disposable. I prefer the standard filter, venting it out of the side of the house, and then you just dump out the container when it gets full. Works great. You just knock the filter, throw it in the washing machine, it's machine washable, and um, you're right back in action. No expensive filters like the shop vacs. I mean, they can, they can 10 or $15 you to death. So this is gonna be really cost effective in the long term. For me, I'm gonna go with the standard filter, which is super easy to wash, super easy to knock out, get it clean, and any smell, any particulates getting vented out of the house, so I'm not worried about that either. All right, so another really cool feature with this vacuum is the company claims it's a 70 decibel meter vacuum. That's pretty quiet. It's still gonna sound like a vacuum, but hopefully it's quiet enough where we're not disturbing people in the house. It's not making a bunch of noise out my driveway and I surely don't wanna upset the neighbors. So standing here with nothing going on, We're at about 30 decibels in the garage. Let's turn it on and see what it does. Right at about 70 dB. Now I'm talking normally and it's not very loud at all standing right here next to the machine. Let's walk on the other side of the garage and see what it sounds like. All right, all the way over here on the other side of the garage, I'm about 20 feet away. We're checking in at about 63 decibels. That's totally reasonable. I mean, I, yes, it sounds like a vacuum cleaner, but it's a quiet one. Let's go outside and see what it sounds like on the other side of this garage door. So now we're on the outside of the garage. About 45 dB, and that's mainly the cars driving by. I can barely hear the vacuum humming. It's no problem whatsoever right outside the door. That's good news. So now that we got it fully mounted on the wall, the thing looks amazing, man. This is one of the most custom vacuum mounts that I've seen. <laughs> I put a lot of work into this. What do you guys think about it? I think it's sick. <laughs> but let's turn it on and let's bring the car in and let's see what it'll do, man. I wanna see that thing in action. And I'm not telling you, you're not gonna be disappointed. Let's give it a run. All right.
So that's my install of the Nadair 700 air watt whole house vacuum set up for my garage application. I'll tell you what, man, I am extremely happy with this. Now that I got my Krenzel set up, all my shelving in, man, my vacuum system is about as good as it can possibly get and I'm extremely excited about it. So. To, to wrap it up, this thing looks amazing. It functions amazing. It's super quiet. I'm gonna be able to detail any time of the day or night that I want without disturbing anybody. And more importantly, I don't have a loud vacuum just grinding into my ears while I'm doing it. That's awesome. But I did wanna do one more thing. I don't know if I quite captured how strong of a suction this thing has. So I'm gonna show you one last time. Man, look at that right there. I mean, that suction is absolutely incredible. Now, I'm anxious to hear what systems you guys have in your house and let me know down below, what do you think of my system? I'm extremely pleased with it. I'm curious to see what you guys think. I'll leave links to all this stuff down in the description so that you can check it out for anybody that wants this sort of thing in their garage. I'll also leave a little less expensive alternatives like my rigid portable vac running to my Cox hose reel. For those of you that are just getting into the setting up your garage and you wanna start out on a budget, I sure appreciate everybody watching the videos and I'm anxious to hear what you guys think about it. So just like every other product that I feel like is the best that it can possibly be. And I'll tell you what, with the Krenzo down here, my vacuum system now, I am extremely happy now. All right, so like all the other ones, here we go. Oh, yeah, that Nadair 700 air watt vacuum system is absolutely unbelievable. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.